Sardinia is undoubtedly one of the most overlooked areas of ancient interest to be found anywhere in the world. Located within the Mediterranean, it's a large Italian island with 2,000 kilometers of coastline, dotted with sandy beaches. The interior, however, contains some of the most heavily concentrated ancient ruins to be found anywhere. Thousands of structures, known as naragis, litter the island. Stone structures masterfully shaped like beehives, often with domed roofs, that from inside reveal the mastery of the original constructors with the largest and oldest of which, known as Sunuragi in Barumini. The Nuragi is a unique feature of the island of Sardinia that, according to mainstream academia, were constructed during the Nuragic Age, between 1900 and 730 BC. However, the Nuragi is not the only compelling ancient ruin to be found upon the island, that regardless of the mundane academic explanation for their origins, are indicative of an enigmatic, highly capable, lost group of ancient beings, locally said to have been of tremendous size. Known as the Giant's Graves, or Tumba de Gigantes locally, the legends that can be found still circulating within the local population tell of giants having once been responsible for these structures, with the graves supporting such claims due to their enormous scale. However, predictably, Academics argue that the size of these tombs were merely due to them being mass graves, although any remains from these supposed neurogic inhabitants, dated to the Bronze Age, remain elusive. Additionally, many of these giant graves, which number around 800, are constructed using enormous megalithic stones many tons in weight. This use of enormous stones is strangely absent from the 2,000 or so neurogic that are instead constructed from more manageably sized stones. However, interestingly, legends in other areas of the Med, such as the Navita Destudomes found in Menorca, also built with manageable stones, shares these legends of giants having once been responsible. A structure built for human habitation by supposed giants using similarly sized stones as the Naraja. Gantia, found on yet another Mediterranean island called Gozo, shares these same local legends of giant builders. Is it mere coincidence that all of these ancient ruins are found within the same global vicinity as each other? An extremely ancient ritual still practiced within Sardinia, predating Christianity by a considerable time, could hold clues to the construction of these giants' graves. A carnival so old, the story behind its purpose has been lost throughout the ages. Depicting monsters of giant proportions, often covered in cowbells and adorned with horns or goat's heads, these monsters march through the local town controlled as they go by human-looking counterparts, named the Isohadores. Known as the Carnival of the Mamuthonas, what exactly the Mamuthonas are, or indeed possibly were, is also lost to history. Although these beasts, who grunt and stomp through the town center, are tethered and controlled by the Isohadores as they go. Were these mysterious beasts once a real creature? Were they utilized for their strength and size by these Isoadoras to build the inexplicable structures still found within Sardinia? Are these widespread yet openly shared local legends passed down from generation to generation pertaining to giants having once been responsible for Sardinia's intriguing ruins a true story? With the visually stunning ancient ritual still preserved by the Sardinians, clues to the origins of the giant's graves and indeed the Naragis? We find the spectacle practiced by the Sardinians, along with their local legends surrounding the giant's graves, highly compelling. <laughs>